What's going on fellow fish tank fanatics? Figured I'd uh, give you all a video and hopefully this one is a full fish room and what I got going on. Uh, 240, not much has changed. I need to get in here um, and add some hard lines because Mr. Sharky <clears throat> keeps knocking up the air lines. Uh, yeah. 240. Still kicking. Still hate the tank. I like the size. I do not like the glass 240 though. So that's what's going on with them. All right, we'll go this way. 125 uh, has been trimmed <clears throat> since the last video. So you can actually see things. I did just have a bloom coming off of um, my red tiger lotus over here. They bloom once a month, twice a month for me. They do pretty good, but this is just my angelfish tank. I actually really like angelfish, so Plus, I couldn't afford discus, so that's why I've got angelfish. But they're doing good. <clears throat> it needs a rescape. It needs new driftwood. Um, but for now, we're just going to stick with it until I can get some pennies saved up to, to get what I need. We'll go down here and look at the 10 gallons. Um, this is my shadow panda tank, and of course, most of them will probably be hidden, but there's a couple... There's one. There's one of my nice females. They're going back up there, but um, yeah, the, I don't have very many shadow pandas in here. I'd love to see the colony explode. So that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that um, they just can continue to grow and uh, and eventually I'll have a nice shadow uh, panda colony. That's that's the end game of this one. So. Other than that, not much in here. Mini Christmas moss, um, Florida sunset, um, cryptocorn windetis, cryptocorn parva, cryptocorn balanzia, uh, mini Christmas moss, trolla wood, and plenty of alder cones um, and leaf litter for the shrimpies. So all the plants I got in there. I guess I didn't say on this tank, it's parva, uh, Maya Oya, crips, Red Tiger Lotus, uh, Madagascar Lace. Right. This tank, uh, the 10 gallon PRL tank. I gotta walk around all the toys that the kiddos have spread out. Uh, not much in here. Well, I've got a bunch of PRLs, but plant wise, it's just Parva, Florida Sunset, uh, Sorted Crip. <laughs> I haven't cared to look up what those back Crips are yet. Uh, and a ton of mini Christmas moss. Um, I need to get in there and do some trimming and attach some to some other uh, moss ledges. But got a mineral block in there just to help them molt. That's what's going on in there. There are two new molts as we talk. Get it all clear up. There. There's the PRLs. All right, now continuing uh, my pelvic acromus poultry tank. Still a hot mess. There's my dominant pair. There's my subdominant pair. Their hideaway is this back corner. I really, really want them to breed just because it's clear and I can see. Um, I'd love to see that most of the time. They're cave spawners, so you never get to see them lay eggs. But, man, that dominant pair. I've got two other females in here, but they, uh, there's one coming out. They stay hidden most of the time. Um, plants in here. I've got some of my nicer parva, some more Maya Oya crypts, and a ton of val. Um, I have a little bit of physidens in here. Um, there's some up there on the driftwood right there, and then I've got a little bit sticking out right there. So I'm hoping I gotta get that working on. Probably throw it over in a highlight. My highlight high CO2 tank. But there you go, my pelvic aromas poultures. This tank always is dirty. I've got to get in there and redo everything. My I put my output on the opposite side of my intake, and it's doing terrible. Look, they're wanting to eat again. They eat a lot. Um, these are the Orthochromus storm side. I actually really enjoy these fish. 
They've got such attitudes for being as little as they are. Um, they are really dark compared to what research I have done on them. Um, so with that being said, these guys will probably be moving into one of my 40 breeders and another pelvic root chrome is probably my sub ocelotus will be in this tank. Uh, the reason I want to move them to a 40 breeder instead is for one, they're really aggressive, they need more space. For two, they look a lot better on a lighter colored substrate. Um, plus for a biotope for them, they need a lighter color substrate. Um, from Congo, they, they stay generally on like tan sand. Um, really fine gravel, heavier sand. So that's that's the goal. That's what I'm looking for on them. But yeah, either way, or the Chroma Storm's Eye. I've got six of them. There's four right there in the picture. One hanging out on the filter intake, and the other one's there. Really enjoy them. Uh, plants, well, they're all algae covered, just like everything in here. I haven't really stuck my hand too much in this tank. I, uh, I kind of stay out of it. Plus, I don't have any... Um, hardly have any plants in here to take in the extra nutrients and I don't have any snails so that's my my issue that's my fault all this is happening I have no no shade cover to keep the lights down to prevent the algae so um, but I've kind of just let it go and that's fine I mean the fish are doing good that's really all that matters um, I'll get in here and, and fix it sooner than later so all right there you go, Orthochroma Storm's Eye. What I've got up here is Congochroma Sabina. I have three females since the male, well, he committed suicide, so it is what it is. Uh, Plant-wise, I've got um, Mini AR. I've got Monte Carlo in the front, Pogo Stamon Helferi, um, Java Moss that was not supposed to be in here, but left it. I've got uh, Cryptocorn. Willisy at the moment, and then this is a Hygrophila. Um, cannot remember the uh, the actual Hygrophila name of it, but um, it is a harder to get plant, and it is a, a more advanced plant. It turns red as this bunch is here. Um, gets really stringy new growth, so. I'm excited to see it. I hope it grows as well as uh, I've seen. So, but yeah, that's what's going on in that tank. Um, now back behind me, the 40 breeder. Now I quieted down the 40 breeder. I completely just took the sump off, added a canister filter to quiet it down a little bit. But this is my Toxitoads Blythe. Um, got a school of five of them in here. And I also have, as you can see from that guy, and that girl and this guy, um, Pelvic Acromus rubro labiatus are in here. So I'm digging these fish. They're not colored up. I have them in a bare bottom tank that is not painted and they're pretty stressed out by it. So the goal is to hopefully get to the hardware store this week and buy some sand and get it clean and start slowly adding it in here um, to see if it'll help them color up and relax because that's what they need they need to relax they still look pretty good though the female she's not super colored up but she looks pretty good she's better than that female male normally hides right there she's not I don't know where the other male is oh he is there literally right there um, tank needs another water change the driftwood has died it but let me see if I can do something for you guys before we move on. Uh oh. See if see if we can feed some of these archers and you see them. If any of the uh, the crickets will hang out and work for me. Well, that didn't take long. Looks like I'll be getting more crickets soon. But either way, that's... There you go. Those are the clouded archers, and I actually really, really enjoy them. They're starting to look good. They're losing their stress bars. 
are doing very, very well. Just keeping the water clean and trying to stay back as much as I can. But yeah, there you go. Hopefully you all enjoyed that little bit of feeding of them. They're still going kind of crazy over pellet food. Hoping to get a couple more. I want to get um, a school of about 10. So I'd look for three to five more. All right, now we're going to look at the 9V gallon. This is my um, Tapahoe Basin biotope. I've got my Geophagus redhead Tapahoes that I got when they were about three quarter of an inch, and they're two and a half inches or so. Probably the smallest one's closer to two. Um, but they're getting big pretty quick. I really enjoy them. The other fish that I have in here, I've got two um, leopard frog plecos, also known as, uh, well, they're saying scientifically L134s. There's one, he's out hanging out. Um, there's one more in here. The other one that's in here is not as yellow, but they're super cool little fish. I just wish with any pleco they were out more. Um, it stinks to have beautiful, beautiful fish that you never get to see because they don't like the light. <laughs> little vampires but either way that's what's going on in there and down here I have my pelvic acroma subocellatus there is my second male and one of my females and another one of my females so there's the three that are on this side the dominant pair is over here my dominant male my dominant female um, female is not colored up right now Surprise, surprise, I put this divider in to see if I could get them to start showing breeding behavior. I should have known that they weren't going to uh, with no substrate, um, but I really do enjoy these fish. They're beautiful. They're, they're not as aggressive as some, um, but they seem a little bit more aggressive than my pelvic acromas poultures. But they're doing well. They're doing very, very well for me, and that's all I can ask for. So that's what's going on in that 10 gallon. And like I said, these guys should be moving to there, and then those guys will be going in a 40 gallon rack system that'll be here. This 40 gallon will remain up. I've got two new 40 gallons in the fish room, um, but they're upstairs, and I've got a total of six new tanks that'll be getting set up hopefully sooner than later. This tank will be getting moved to um, a different location uh, and I'm hoping to run a sump system on that again once I can get the leaks fixed and get it quieted down because it was way too loud. But man, I like those archers. Now I've got one more fish tank in the fish room. Not really in the fish room, but it's close enough to the fish room. Uh, and it's my extreme blue bolt tank. These are deep blue bolts. And I do have quite a few babies. I've got 16 is what I can count, um, which is really nice to see. It's nice to see the colony growing. And I found the best way to get them to grow is to not bother them. Keep your hands out of the tank. So that's what I try to do, even though all I want to do is get in there and move everything and see if I can find more babies. But yeah, I've got a little bit of um, cyanobacteria in here all over my moss and then all over this top ledge right there. But they've, the, the shrimp have taken care of a lot of it. So my goal now is to just continue doing weekly water changes um, and keep the light low, which right now I just run screen window screen uh, as a dimmer. There you go. That's about all I got in the fish room at the moment. Things could very easily change. Um, like I said, I've got six new tanks upstairs that I hope to add. Um, quite a few will go here. Um, a rack will go right here, and then this tank will move into that room. Actually, back up against the 90. So that's what I'm at. Hopefully, you all enjoy it. Now I am enjoying the new additions very, very much. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching.